downgrade from iOS 7 down to 6.1.3 on your iPhone 4 using iFaith. Now there's gonna be a few separate things that you need. Obviously you're gonna need an iPhone 4 on iOS 7 or 7.0.2. So I'll just show you here that I have a device on 7.0. All right, so you can see that. Now the next thing that you're going to want is iFaith, obviously. Now this is only going to work on Windows, so it's not gonna work on Mac, but I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download iFaith. Now the next thing that you want is the 6.1.3 IPSW for your iPhone 4. Now you can download this through iFaith if you wanna do that, or if you wanna already have it on your desktop like I do, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download that as well. All right, so the next thing that you need is iTunes 11.0. This whole process doesn't work on 11.1, .1, which is probably what you have. So I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download iTunes 11.0, and then all you need to do is uninstall iTunes 11.1 .1 and install iTunes 11.0. Now the last thing that you need is your SHSH blobs. Now you either have already saved this to your computer locally or if you jailbroke on 6.1.3 then you're in luck because Cydia already saved those SHSH blobs to its server automatically so you already have them. Alright so what we're going to do is open up iFaith so we'll double click on that just click OK and now you have these four options right here. So the first one we're going to click on is show available SHSH caches on server. And make sure your device is connected to your computer and it says would you like to use your newly connected device just click yes all right so now you have three options here what we want to click on is the third one show a list of available SHSH blobs on TSS server so we'll click on that and this is going to retrieve all the SHSH blobs from Cydia as well as iFaith if you've gotten SHSH blobs from there all right so you can see here this is what we want you can see the ones with Cydia to the right of the IPSW is actually saved from Cydia so I jailbroke on 6.1.3 and this is actually from one I saved from iFaith so since most of you guys are going to be using the Cydia one I'll just go ahead and use the Cydia one as well so we're gonna download the selected blobs which is the first option here and click on that and we're just gonna save it to our desktop and click OK alright so it doesn't take very long to download these so it says iFaith has successfully downloaded the following blob 6.1.3 click OK and then here's another pop-up that it says it has successfully verified the following AP tickets so just click OK again alright so now we're just gonna click no and we're gonna X out of this so here is the SHSH blobs right there alright so we're gonna open up iFaith again click OK and now we're gonna click on build signed IPSW with blobs so click on that and now we're going to browse for SHSH blobs. So these are the blobs that we just saved to our desktop. So click browse, and then we're going to scroll up here to our desktop and scroll all the way down to our SHSH blobs. You can tell because the extension is SHSH. So just click open. All right, so it says the provided AP ticket looks valid. Click OK. And now we're going to browse for an IPSW. You can download it here if you don't have it. If you do have it, then you're just going to browse and point straight to it. So I already have it on my desktop here. And here it is, 6.1.3. Click open. And now it's going to verify the IPSW. All right, so now we just click build IPSW. So what this is doing is actually taking the IPSW that we pointed it to and using those SHSH blobs to sign the IPSW. So if you didn't know, Apple stopped signing iOS 6.1.4, 6.1.3, and everything previous to that as well and it only signs iOS 7 so it doesn't allow you to downgrade whatsoever so what this is going to do is make a signed IPSW that way it tricks iTunes into thinking Apple's actually signing it when it's not but it works to our advantage so we'll be able to downgrade back to 6.1.3 now this takes a while so I'll just go ahead and speed right through it All right, so now we have a pop-up that says iFaith has finished creating your custom signed IPSW. It's located on your desktop under the alias, and then it gives you the file name. Now, before you can restore to this IPSW, please follow the on-screen instructions to enter a Pwn DFU state. So just go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to grab our device, and we're going to turn it off just by holding the power button here. And slide to power off. All right, so now that it's turned completely off, we're just gonna click start. And it's gonna tell you to prepare to hold the power and home button in three, two, one, 
go. So just hold down the power button and the home button here and wait for the timer to go down and you're going to release the power button in one second and continue holding the home button for the next 30 seconds. Now it usually doesn't take 30 seconds. What it does is uh, it usually just kicks in and automatically notices when you're in DFU mode. All right, now it's running iReb, so it means that it's in DFU mode. All right, so now your device is in a pwned DFU state. You may now launch iTunes and Shift Plus Restore to the custom signed IPSW located on your desktop. So perfect, click OK. We're gonna X out of this. And here is the new IPSW that is signed. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up iTunes. And I'm gonna put this device right here. All right, so you should get a pop-up that says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Just click OK. And now what you want to do is hold Shift and click Restore iPhone. Now we're going to click on our desktop because that's where our new signed IPSW is. And we're going to click right here. You can tell which one it is because it has all these numbers in the front. And then down here it says signed.ipsw. So make sure you open that one and go ahead and click Open. And now it should start extracting the software and then go ahead and downgrade you to 6.1.3. So I'll go ahead and speed through this because it takes a little bit of time. All right, guys, so there you have it. There is 6.1.3, and just to show you guys, we'll go into settings here, go to general, and down, oops, let me go to about, and you can see 6.1.3 right there at the bottom. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please